Everything was pretty chill the first two seasons until season 3, where people started noticing this pretty big star in the sky. A couple weeks later, the star got bigger and oh hey, it's actually a comet. Oh wait, it's a meteor heading straight toward the island. People thought the meteor was going to destroy Tilted Towers, but nah, it landed in Dusty Depot instead. It still hit Tilted, but didn't completely destroy it. It also hit other areas around the map. So now there's a big poop stain on the map with a big meteor drop, and a bunch of scientists set up a research lab around the giant space rock. These hop rocks also started to appear, which gave people the ability to jump super high. A piece of the meteor hit the person near Moisty Mire, and your boy Omega escaped, along with these two other guys. So a bunch of superheroes decided, hey man, we, we gotta stop him. Omega runs to his secret lair and creates an army of robot soldiers to fight the superheroes. The villains and superheroes end up fighting in Tilted cause you know, that's where all the cool kids drop. And then plot twist, it was actually a movie being filmed this whole time. Wow. Meanwhile, while all of this is happening, hop rocks from all over the island were getting transferred to the secret villain lair. The big space rock and the divot cracked open like a big space egg. And the space chick in the big space egg was actually the visitor. Visitor teeths the villain rocket from the lair and turns it into a real rocket, probably by using the hop rocks. I don't know. But anyways, he rides that bad boy out of there. The rock is about to smack into Tilted, but a giant rift appears and swallows the rocket. More rifts appear around the map and start sucking stuff in and spitting stuff out. RMP Tomato Head. Eventually Drift shows up, Moisty becomes a desert, and Anarchy Acres is replaced by some golf course. Oh, and you can ride these cool golf carts around now. Everything was all fine and dandy until the giant rift in the sky decides, Hey, you know what? F*** these cactuses. It's cacti. And it just starts murdering them. Eventually leaving a giant purple cube, everyone starts calling Kevin. Don't touch him, he'll get pissed and hit you back. So Kevin starts rolling around the map and stamping mysterious runes everywhere. While on his little marathon, Kevin starts feeling hot and needs to go take a bath. He rolls on over to Loot Lake for a swim. But oh shit, he forgot, he can't swim. So he drowns, or melts, and his blood turns the whole lake into jello. RIP Kevin. Everyone starts coming to the lake and bounce around his blood and laughing at Kevin's dead body. So Kevin gets mad and decides to come back to life and lift an entire island. The ruins that Kevin left behind when he was still a young cube turned into corrupted areas. These stones popped up in the corrupted areas kind of like hop rocks from before but instead they turn you into ooga booga ghosts. Kevin flies around and charges up at these corrupted areas. The runes then decide to just come to Kevin instead cause he's slow af. They all start charging him up and now everyone's a big happy family until Kevin was done charging up. He just dropped his runes on the floor cause he is snake like that. Literally just use his friends for his own personal gain. What a dick. He returns to Loot Lake and a portal opens in the sky above him which starts zapping your boy up. Kevin literally rips the island open and starts the Fort Nightmares event. A bunch of baby Kevins start popping up across the map which summoned the cube monsters which were pretty much zombies. Kevin starts cracking and peeing himself and then cracks even more and starts spinning like crazy. And then boom! Big white flash and everyone gets teleported into some next dimension. A butterfly shows up and touches people up, teleporting everyone out of that weird dimension and back to Loot Lake. Or Leaky Lake now I guess. Kevin is dead, for now. All his babies around the map are dead, no more cube monsters, and the lake has multiple islands now. Oh, and, and a rainbow. Wow.